What's up guys and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk and today we are continuing our draft prospects for the 2022 NFL Draft and we're sticking with the quarterbacks and this time we got Desmond Ritter quarterback from Cincinnati and there's a lot of fun things to like about him there's some criticisms of him as well we're going to get into that and should Washington draft him at pick number 11. All right, Desmond Ritter. He's a six foot four, around 210, 215 pound quarterback. So nice and tall, a little bit slim, maybe needs to gain a little bit of weight, but overall solid frame. Then he had a good season, 3,300 yards, 30 touchdowns, eight interceptions, not a bad touchdown to interception ratio. Uh, could Would like probably some more yards at the college level, but overall not bad too bad he was the quarterback of a 13 and one cincinnati team the first non-power five school to make it to the college football playoffs they ended up falling short to bama which we'll talk about but he did have a tremendous season 13 and 0 before getting to the playoffs he's got a really i think a really good arm i think it's better than kenny pickett's but it's not again like pat mahomes or josh allen's he could definitely make all the throws i think he had like a 62 and a half yard throw during the senior bowl practices so the guy definitely has a strong arm he has tremendous speed but he's not a shifty guy so he's not the malik willis of this draft or lamar jackson kyler murray that's going to make a ton of people miss but he still has plenty of escapability in the pocket but when he actually gets in the open field you really notice that speed when he gets into that straight line the long strides that he has he is really tremendous there so overall the positives are good now let's go to the senior bowl we just had the senior bowl this last weekend and in my opinion he looked great he was arguably the best quarterback during the game uh, my favorite throw, he had a play-action boot to his right, which he's tremendous at, but there was a defender that was kind of containing him inside. He That's okay. He stood up, set his feet, and delivered a absolute dime between three defenders, put it right in the bread basket about 15, 20 yards downfield. Beautiful throw. He was four for six on the day, but... His two incompletions were a clear drop pass from the running back, and the other one was an intentional throwaway. He also had two touchdowns in the game, including a nice boot pass to the tight end in the flat, giving him a chance to run with it after the catch, turning it upfield and scoring. So not a bad day at all for Desmond Ritter. And overall, as I said, I think he was arguably the best quarterback during the game. Now, there was reports that he didn't look great throughout the practices. I don't know. Who cares? When he got into the game, I think he looked pretty good. Now, things to not like about Desmond Ritter. The Alabama game, right? And a lot of people were interested. How is he going to perform when he gets to a really top-notch competition? Now, they did beat Notre Dame earlier in the year, and he looked okay, but they Really, Cincinnati is built around their defense, and Desmond Ritter does a decent job, or a, I, I think a really great job, actually. I mean, more of the offense does a decent job, but I think their weaponry is not very good, honestly. Like, Alec Pierce is his number one receiver. I don't know how much play he's going to get at the next level, and then after that, I think there's a serious drop-off. So overall, I th I've seen a lot of drop passes throughout his games. Uh, Wiley, his tight end, is nothing special. I don't think he has great weaponry. So when they went up against an Alabama team, his receivers definitely struggled to get open. But, and well, his offensive line looked really bad too. He got sacked six times. He was definitely pressured throughout the day. But overall, he didn't look good. Okay? Yeah, I'm not letting him off the hook for all that. He did not look good. He did not handle the pressure well, which most quarterbacks don't. But there was times, like one play in particular in my head, was when the blitz was coming, instead of looking at where his hot reads were, and we had a receiver coming across the middle on the underneath of a mesh route. If he just led him to the open spot, he could have got rid of the ball before the sack got there. Instead, he tried to escape and then ended up getting sacked. Didn't work out too well. He also had a lot of batted down passes in that game. Like it was several, maybe four or five. Uh, maybe he needs to work in some different arm angles, different pump fakes, do something 
there was a lot of batted down passes. And then I think I also rewatched the Navy game, and there was like two or three in that as well. For a guy at six foot four, he needs to work on. I'm not sure if he's telegraphing too much with his eyes or what the case may be, but you're too big to get batted down so many passes. But either way, that's just a small thing. So, yes, I already talked about needing improvement against the Blitz. In the Navy game, going back to that one, I noticed something a little bit weird. When they only rushed three, he got a little happy feet, even though he had a clean pocket. I I would like to see him clean that up. And I don't know if he's not trusting his offensive line, if it's just his clock is a little off of when he expects pressure. But there was one play in particular where they only rushed three. He had... All six guys, I think, I think they had a tight end in the block or a running back, and they were out cleaning these guys up, and then all of a sudden he just spins around to the short side of the field, and he ends up having to get rid of the football because that allows the defensive end free outside the pocket. So that was a little bit weird. I think he needs to work on staying calm in the pocket, and he needs to he just needs to improve there. Now – Another thing I noticed is he was really good at booting to his right, and he threw some beautiful balls when booting to his right, being able to throw. He's a right-handed quarterback, but when he boots booted to his left, it was a clear, clear drop-off, and he wasn't even throwing it away. He was scared to like throw it away if the defender was too close. Also, he he didn't he didn't look good doing it. He wasn't accurate. Booting to his left is definitely something he's going to have to work on. Overall, I like me some Desmond Ritter, and here's his comp, which is not going to be a very happy sight or a happy thought for you Washington fans, but in my opinion, he comps well to Robert Griffin III as a player who was the number two overall pick. You could also even compare him a little bit to Marcus Mariota, who also was a number three overall pick, which is another, or number two overall, but again, not a clamoring guy that you really want to be compared to. But remember, RG3 was the rookie of the year. It was injuries and it was ego that really hurt RG3 to be able to grow in this league, right? And this is what you're going to get out of a Desmond Ritter, a guy that needs to learn more about how to read the defense, go through his progressions, more as a NFL-style pocket passer. But he's a guy that you can really work with in the run game while he learns so you can win with him as he learns how to become more of a pocket passer and similar to like a Lamar Jackson who did the very same things of using those legs to buy time until now he's actually a pretty good passer if they can get him some healthy weapons and uh, a better play caller with Greg Roman who's terrible he improved as a passer and we're seeing a little bit of that with Jalen Hurts as well a guy who could really run and he led his team in rushing this year but he still needs to learn more of how to be a pocket passer right so overall I think if Desmond Ritter is there at number 11 it may be a slight reach but I'm willing to take it I think that there's enough potential in that dude and quarterback position is such an important need waiting until the second round with some potential quarterback needy teams Saints Pittsburgh Um, we'll see if Seattle moves on or what who knows what is going who's going to need a quarterback later and then also if Carolina didn't take a first round quarterback maybe they reach in the second round or trade back into the first round to get theirs there's some guys that may end up going if you try to wait into the second round that you would like to have at number 10 or number 11 so yes I would make the move And I would love this guy as a five-year rookie contract. You're not paying a whole ton of a quarterback money, but you can get a whole ton out of him. But you guys let me know what you guys think about Desmond Ritter in the comments below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Also in the description below, there's a Discord link. Hop on our Discord and come talk some football. And last but not least, there are donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. Thanks for watching to the end. And until next time. Sir!